Okay. Now I'm live. I'm just I just forgot to uh, to enable it. So it should work now. Am I live or not? Yes, I'm live. There you go. Okay. There you go. Okay. Mm. Ah. Là j'ai plus de viewers ça. Personne qui devait attendre hein, doit attendre sur un autre. Hein. Enfin, c'est normal, je sais pas si c'est normal, mais... Welcome on the stream! So, um, I'm about to paint this miniature. I've already uh, done a wash, dark wash, uh, with an ink, black ink, on the, um, the rock formation, at the base of the character. And, um, so I'm about to paint the rocks real fast, uh, first, and then I'll, I'll go on, uh, painting the, the actual figure, the actual miniature. For now, I'm shaking my paint balls. So, I'm gonna go with a dark gray uh, mixed in with some uh, dark um, brown for the um, uh, for the base of the rock. I'm uh, doing some some minor uh, variations uh, in the gray and in the the brown. And then we'll go on doing highlights very fast by doing dry brushing and then we'll start the uh, the fun stuff I'm gonna start with the flesh the flesh right away I'm gonna give him a slightly tanned flesh this guy is obviously some kind of barbarian so um, so what I'm gonna do is do a pretty dark skin you know uh, yellowish uh, dark screen uh, skin as if he was um, he stood in the, the Sun for quite some time in his life but for now we're gonna do the the rock formation. It's gonna be pretty fast to do. So as you can see, I did a a white uh, against workshop a white um, a base coat. Uh, I usually coat my miniatures white. You can of course. Uh, coat them black but when I do skin I really don't like the base coat to be very dark so um, I chose to do it white it's a dark white actually it's more of a very light gray um, so for the rock um, I just did a dark wash and it instantly gave a gray kind of gray shade however what I'm gonna do is um, do some variations uh, in the in the rocks because uh, Rocks aren't, uh, you know, always um, uniform in color. There is a, often a slight variation in the gray or even brown. So what I'm going to do is um, put up some some variation. Could even put on some 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 orange or some yellow on the rocks, but I'm going to go pretty dark and and pretty gray for this one, but. Could even be some some blue reflections of sorts at some places. I'm gonna go with uh, mainly gray. But you know what? I may actually use some blue too. I'm gonna do some iron patches here and there, you know, as if there was some iron ore. Um, inside the the rock formation and I'm even gonna put on uh, after the highlights um, 
a, a slight little bit of um, of metallic paint, just dabbing, you know, to get some little shimmer of ore here and there. Uh, actually, I might actually also use a little bit of blue, but I'm still thinking, not sure about that. You know what? Let's take a little bit of orange. Uh, I'm take this orange. Gonna mix in with a little bit of brown. It's something a bit more vivid in places. Yeah. It's rock formation, but it's not always, you know, not only gray. Of course, there's going to be um, a highlight that's going to make everything pop out a little more. So for now, it's all bland. But could even put in a little bit of blue or green. Of course, it's the very like the gray and the white wash that's really gonna give the the appearance of uh, of stone. Maybe I should have done a dark uh, base coat to enhance the contrast on this one instead of doing just a wash. Oh well, I can always do another wash afterwards. I'd like to avoid uh, going back and doing a dark, uh, a dark base coat again. I could, you know, maybe I should actually, because I definitely want to do the base before doing this guy, just in case while dry brushing, just in case I get some, some of the paints on the on the shoes. Uh, so I'd like to do the guy afterwards after the base, but I must say it's too light, there's not enough contrast on the base so there's definitely going to be more contrast when I do the highlights, but I'm scared that um, I'm afraid that the the shadows on this piece aren't going to cut it I've done a wash, you know, with black ink, uh, it got into recesses, but it was a, on a white base, so see I'm afraid it's going to be too light on some spots so I could come back afterwards and just you know add some 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 dark paints to some places, but that would be um, quite uh, quite a pain in the ass. So I think I'm actually yeah okay. What I'm gonna do real fast is I'm actually gonna base coat the whole rock in black. I only see that. Let me see this in. Yeah, could do the trick, but you know what? I'm gonna base it in black just to make sure that I have something uh, that looks uh, pretty contrasted. So I'm going to base it in black. There's no choice. Let's do this. It's going to be real fast, and then at least what I'm going to do is going to be contrasted, and I'll get a nice rock. So um, I do have uh, some black primer. Where is it? Should Should work on it, you know. So where is my black primer? Of course, nowhere to be found. Come on, where is it? I almost never use it. I use it for the bases sometimes. But um, if I don't find it fast, I'll use another paint. But Primer should be better. Where is it? Oh, 
let's see. This crafting table is such a mess. Come on. It's kind of big. I kind of miss it. Where the hell is it? You know, I actually spent some time trying to to put a bit of order in this, so it's messy, but it's half um, ordered, and I can't manage to find anything, of course, because of that. I pretty much moved it. That's why I don't find it. That's a bummer, really. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I'm gonna prime it black because uh, I'm really not satisfied with how the the rock looks, so I'm gonna put it all in black, and then I'll go on with some gray and some brown dry brushing. That's gonna do the trick, I think. Let's do this instead. So, okay, I'm gonna take this. Yeah. So, what are you guys doing? What are you guys up to? So I'm gonna go fast. Should dry up pretty fast. At least I hope it does. I'll be able to do the the rocks after. At least I've ha I'll have some real shades and some real black. So the primer would be far more heavy. Come on, guys, don't be shy. You're, there's four of you. Come say hi. I'll probably start painting the flesh while the black. Uh, actually sets. <laughs> Sont tous barrés sauf un. Il y en a qui sont partis déjà. Ouais, il y en avait quatre. Bah, dis moi si c'est ça. Whip. Whip, whip, whip. So there you go. At least I have a dark base so I'll have some some actual uh, shades oh, on this uh, miniature to pop out obviously they just on live too see the party okay okay pardon Okay, mm. so this was a bit of a bummer, but at least now I've got a some nice shadows, some some nice a good base for for heavy shadows. Oh, there you go. Hope it'll dry fast. You know what? While it's set, I'm gonna show you a few miniatures 
I'm going to show you how I did the the base because obviously this base isn't um, doesn't come with the the miniature. I added this rock formation. I'll show you what I used to do this. Maybe show you a few of my conversions in miniatures because I kid bashed a few miniatures and it will set pretty fast hopefully. At least it should. There you go. So we got ourselves an actual dark base. There you go. So uh, while well, this sets, I hope it'll only take a few minutes. Uh, hopefully, otherwise I'll start the 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 skin, the the tan of the skin. But I'd like to to first do the base though. It's not the most fascinating, but it should be fast. It would have been a lot faster if. I had done a dark um, base scope before. Sorry about that. Uh, so it, I'm gonna wait a few minutes, show you a few uh, miniatures I did, and then uh, well, um, we'll see if it's dry. If it's dry, I'll do the the dark um, gray and brown uh, um, dry brushes, the highlights, and it should be a uh, real fast. And then we'll do the the guy itself. Yeah. The fun part. So, what can I show you? Um, yeah, so the base I actually uh, did using some cork. Uh, I mean, some bark, sorry. Uh, it's not actually cork, it's uh, some chestnut bark. Uh, I covered uh, some chestnut bark uh, for, 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 from where uh, my folk live. And um, I've just added the miniatures on top with some green stuff to make a good junction. And then there was also some pebbles and some small rocks I added in sand uh, to give something a bit more uh, natural. Then of course, well, I'm going to paint it and at the end I'm going to probably add some flocking, some, some uh, green tufts and stuff like that. Maybe a few twigs or, you know, just to give it a more organic look. So most of my figures are Reaper. I've got many... Um, different suppliers for miniatures but these ones are uh, dark legend reaper this one's a uh, zombie werewolf looking pretty cool the first time it came uh, it was actually missing uh, an arm so um they sent uh the the figure again the miniature again and this one's um like a uh, complete so this is really easy just doing a base you know um what I also did is uh, this miniature. So here you got a very uh, simple base with stones. Uh, the figure is supposed to be some kind of demon. So actually it had some pretty nice wi uh, feathered wings. But I didn't like it. I wanted it to look like a uh, sort of badass uh, boar, giant boar guy. So I removed uh, the, the, the wings and just put some green stuff. It worked pretty well to cover the... Um, the the holes meant for uh, for attaching the wings. Uh, I've also bent, uh, tried not to break it. Actually worked uh, the the arm and removed uh, the base of the sword that was supposed to be there in his hand because I want to remove it and give him a, an axe. Looks a little bit more uh, tribal in my opinion. So I'm gonna give him an axe and I'm actually gonna use some green stuff on the top of his axe. Um, to, to, to further sculpt it. Um, hey, uh, Green Tree. Good morning. Um, so, um, welcome to the chat. So, yeah, afterwards what I'm going to do is use some green stuff and sculpt it for the more, for it to look like a very old Bronze Age, um, early Bronze Age uh, axe, you know, Celtic uh, Bronze Age uh, axe. It's going to look pretty cool. So this one's pretty simple. Just some kind of tribal boar. Reminds me of uh, the character uh, character in Hellboy. Um, you know, sort of Celtic um, wild boar champion. Got this huge bear. I didn't do much conversion. There's only the, the, the ground. Uh, I've started the paints. It's not finished though. Just put on the... the, the base of the the colors um, it's gonna look great it's huge 
if you take a miniature aside, it's a dire, sort of dire uh, bear. It's pretty huge, as you can see. Uh, this is a 28 millimeter uh, miniature. It looks pretty damn huge. Um, oh, there's a fun one I could show you. Or is it? Uh, I think I got it here. There's this one. Um, this actually comes from uh, the Hellboy board game that I um, uh, I purchased. Uh, I'm you know I participated in the Kickstarter campaign. So just you know only for the miniatures, it's already very interesting because it like um, my pledge was like a uh, hundred dollars something like that. And for that, I got the game, two expansions, and around a hundred miniatures, uh, maybe even a little more. So you know, only for the miniatures, it was kind of worth it. The sculpts are pretty good. Uh, the only uh, real issue with this uh, sculpt is uh, it was assembled, so there is a slight gap between the two parts, uh, between the mainly the. Um, the hairs that was assembled, but I'm sure that with the paint it won't really show, so it's all right. And I've actually um, customized it because it's supposed for those who know Hellboy, it's supposed to be uh, he Hecate or Hecate. I don't know how you call it in English. Uh, this uh, sort of uh, Greek or Mesopotamian uh, goddess uh of the crossroads that can take the shape of a uh, snake but so i wanted to make some kind of medusa out of her but she looked a little you know um she didn't have any weapon so i wanted to give her uh, a spear so i made a spear uh i figured the position of the hand was perfect to give her a spear also i used um a fire forge miniature and broke it, and I'm gonna paint it as if it's um, a petrified soldier. So I'm probably gonna break uh, the sword also, and make the the rest of the sword in the ground. And uh, here you got the head of the guy that broke. So yeah, I figured with the the position of the you know the the snake-like figure that was uh, unrolled, uh, it would look cool with some if she was a like. Um, spinning around something uh first i thought about putting on a rock and then it looked way cooler i thought it would look way cooler if it was a victim so yeah could bash this one looks pretty happy with it uh i'll see later about painting it up for now i'm gonna paint this guy um of course, it ain't kid bashing, but in case you haven't seen the latest tutorial on the channel that um, that I put like um, two weeks ago, I think, one week ago, two weeks ago, uh, well, you can check it up. This is obviously not kid bash, but I did a modular golem uh, that is articulated, that you can, you know, with magnets and stuff and, and such. So if you're interested to do this uh, kind of articulated golem that is inspired by um, Dark Crystal, the, um, the show, well, you can, you can uh, go watch how I did. It's modular. The only thing that is attached to the base is the, the left leg, and the rest is just, you know, fixed by uh, magnets. And it works really well to give him stances. So if you guys are interested by do doing... Uh, you know, uh, articulated uh, miniatures for your uh, tabletop uh, sessions. Well, it worked. You know, it was an experiment, but it worked pretty well. So how is that going? It's still pretty uh, liquid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a base uh, color for the skin, just to make sure I don't waste any time. Uh, I honestly didn't think that I had to do a dark uh, coat on the rock, but clearly I did. So I had to do it on live. Sorry about that. I'm going to paint the color of the, the skin. So I was wondering, I did a white base coat. Now, usually uh, I do white base coats 
to do fast to, to do fast painting when I do batch painting because obviously with a good wash of the right color and just some highlights on top you can get very fast some contrast and going real fast now uh, this one I'm obviously gonna take a little more time to paint him because he's quite a big guy so uh, I could actually spend some time painting him he looks kind of like a boss or at least a um, you know pretty um, tough um, enemy it's a big miniature so I'm probably gonna take a little time painting it so I wonder if I'm actually doing uh, I wonder what I'm doing I should I want his flesh to be tanned, so it's going to be pretty dark with some heavy highlights to get a very light um, sheen to his muscles, as if they were, you know, a bit either oiled or covered with, with sweat. I want him, the muscle to look real tense and, and real shiny, you know, barbarian-like uh, a bit. You know, he's um, he, he won't have a very brown skin, but it's definitely going to be a bit burned by the leathery, a bit by the... Uh, the sound a bit like you know Conan. It's gonna be, not gonna be white of skin. Could be white of skin actually. It'll, it could look cool too. But I'm gonna go for something darker, uh, like the guy who spends a lot of time you know outside uh, under the the, the sun, uh, and obviously not wearing much clothes, clothing. Um, but I'm wondering either do a very dark brown. Uh, base coat and then build up the highlights but that will take a lot of time or what I could do is take uh, medium brown like um, I got this color that is medium flesh but it's actually kind of dark carne medio I got something maybe darker somewhere but this could do the trick maybe I have something darker I'm gonna <coughs> have a look so either I take a dark brown like this and build up the highlights but I'll definitely spend time building the highlights by doing glazers or such. Or I take a lighter tone that's a bit brownish, a yellowish, and then I go in with a wash, then again a medium flesh tone on top of the, um, the surfaces to get some lights, and then finally some highlights. That would actually be faster. So I wonder what I should do. I'm definitely not going for just a, a wash. I don't have some contrast paints. Could buy some, but honestly, they're just too too expensive. <laughs> I find them too expensive. I prefer to do my own washes, <coughs> even if they're not very, uh, you know, as good. At least uh, they're not super expensive. But uh, maybe I'll end up buying some contrast paints. <coughs> what are you guys? Um, what do you guys think about contrast paints? Did you guys try them? Um, are, are they that good? I mean, I saw a few vids. Uh, concerning contrast paints, you know, testing them, and um, but I'm still unsure uh, as if it's really good, you know. <clears throat> you know what? I think I'm gonna do with a gonna go with a medium um, medium flesh, and then I'll try trying some washes. I'm gonna do this now uh, for the base of the the, the color of the skin uh, while the rock uh, dries. Then I'll do the rock. And then I'll do uh, the boots and the rest of the skin. I'm probably gonna concentrate on the, on the skin, take some time at first, uh, and then I'll do all the other elements that are on top, you know. So yeah, let's go. So I said I was gonna try with this medium flesh tone, but I wonder if I didn't have something a bit darker than this. I did have a very dark uh, tone for the skin that was cool. I could also use some some lighter brown. Um, depends on how dark I want this color to be, actually. You know, because I got some monster brown too. You know what? I could go with some monster brown for his skin. It's gonna be pretty brown, but you know, I'm gonna try. Okay. So I'm using my trusty drill to um, to mix up uh, paints, mixes them up way faster than using uh, by hand. Oh, 
army painter paint um, paint doesn't really mix good I mean it it settles too much I prefer Vallejo uh. There you go. So, do I go lighter or do I go darker? So this is the lighter color I have. Maybe it's too light. I think I'm gonna keep that for the highlights. And I'm gonna go with that for the base tone of the flesh. Then I'm gonna do a wash on the flesh and then I'm gonna do the, the, the highlights. I think it's gonna be the best option. So, let's go. Yeah, this guy's gonna be very tan flesh. See if he spent a lot of time uh, outside, you know. What the hell? What's that grainy stuff? Is it on my brush or on the miniature? I take another brush because this one's looking weird. Do I have something else? Let's try this. Okay. Even worse. Even worse. Uh, What's the issue with that brush? Wait, right, I'm gonna just... <laughs> just blew a little bit on the miniature, because I'm unsure as if there's some light dust on the miniature. This guy is shred. So I'm not an expert painting by any means. I'm unsure as if there's this weird grainy th aspect there not sure why um it's dark legend miniature i don't i don't remember the name of the actual miniature you can find it on reaper uh probably um if you search for barbarian it's a dark legend miniature i think i bought it years ago maybe two years ago I'm pretty sure you can still find the sculpts uh, on Reaper. Looks pretty cool. Of course, as I was, uh, as I said, the uh, the base is custom. Uh, the rock formation is uh, custom stuff. You won't f you won't buy it. You won't have the the same base with uh, with the miniature coming with the miniature. But, um, So, I'm going to try to do a nice painting, but I'm not an, expa uh, an expert painting painter by any means. Also, I definitely need to change brushes, because my brushes are way too... Uh, they're a bit fucked up from the use. And for now it was alright, but now it's getting a bit too much. 
I'm losing preci precision. I'm not too concerned by being precise for the moment because I'm obviously going to go afterwards with highlights and doing the other pieces. So I tried to, to remove most of the mode, lo mode lines. There weren't too much, but there were some mode lines, obviously. Um, but um, I'm not too concerned either by mole lines, because if there are some mole lines on the skin, I'll just turn them into scars, you know. The guy is obviously some kind of war, some kind of uh, barbarian, so he's definitely going to have scars. It would even look a bit weird if it didn't. So if I forgot one or two more lines here and there, I'll just turn them into scars. You know, with a lighter tone of the skin. Should be fine. So I'm going to go underneath for the tights. There you go. Good. So I think this is a good color for the base. Uh, base color for the skin. I'm going to do a dark wash on top of this, probably a flash wash and either flash, yeah, probably a flash wash and then a dark wash. Then I'm going to come back up with this, this same uh, color, but going way, uh, way lighter. Because obviously the washes are going to darken the whole uh, painting. So I'm going to go come back with the same uh, color on top. And then I'll build up lighter to get some nice highlights on all of those uh, muscles because the guy is really shred. So we want all those muscles to pop, you know, look nice and and thick. So I have to go underneath the arm. Look at those muscles. I mean, this guy must spend most of his days lifting rocks or something like that. That's also why I like the miniature. It looked real bulky and sometimes it's nice to have a, a miniature for a foe that looks so um, imposing. Okay, there are some irregularities here and there, and I'm unsure if it's the sculpts, the base coat I did, or the actual brush I have here, but there are some minor Many of these are just bubbles because I actually put a drop of soap in my water just to get a better, to clean the brushes better and get better uh, paint everywhere in the recesses. On some spots it's alright and on other spots it's kind of weird. I'm not too concerned but still it's a bit weird. Okay, let's go on the face now. So this guy's gotta have flesh there underneath as well. Oops, I'm not too concerned of hitting the horns or the helmet because I'm gonna repaint them afterwards. Got some ears like there between the horns of the helmets. The horns doesn't seem to come out of his head. There are more like decoration on the helmet. 
There you go. There you go. Mostly painted up. There. Get in there. Okay. So he's got some skin on top as well. There. Bam. You know what? I'm going to paint the, the skin as well. Because it's going to have mainly the same color than his own skin. I'm just going to do a little difference by doing a wash, a different wash. But mainly it's going to be the same thing. Okay, so now I need to do the hands, obviously. And the base is almost set, so I'm going to be able to do the rocks afterwards. So... See, I forgot a few more lines here and there, small ones, but though. Um, where's my exact knife? Mm. Can I get rid of this one though? Yeah, there you go. Okay. It broke off the the base color, but should work either way. Okay. I really need new brushes. I have to buy new brushes. I've been paint I've been painting quite a lot lately and uh, You know what? It, it has a toll on the brushes. So I'm finishing the flesh, base stone. Then I'm going to do that rock underneath. And then we'll go um, doing washes and highlights. I'm probably not going to do a live for very long. I'm going to continue painting this guy afterwards on my own. But for now, I'm hanging out with you guys. You guys are three out there, four. Welcome on the live. you guys have any question or anything to say please do okay so it's all right if I just you know slip over the other pieces of clothing the only thing I must make sure is that I don't miss any spots of the flesh Okay, so there were some, some some bubbles stuff like that, but they popped out, so it's all right actually. What I saw on the on the skin before, well, there are some irregularities on the the skin of this guy, because the the sculpt isn't you know perfect, and the the base coat may have the the primer may have caught uh, a few minor things when I sprayed it, because I used a, a spray outside. But it's no issue. There's not much uh, that got caught, and you know. Then again, it's kind of a barbarian, so it's all right if his skin isn't, you know, perfectly smooth. The guy is live, living a hard life outside, so definitely gonna have a damaged uh, skin. <clears throat> the only thing I must make sure is that the the muscles pop out well by the end. I want them to look real thick. Oh, missed a spot there. No, that's all right. Okay, so I'm good for the skin. Uh, and I think we're good with the base here. I can come out, uh, come back with some gray. Uh, 
on it. So I'm going to dry brush with some gray. And uh, yeah, then I'm going to put a, a bit of brown. Then I'm going to dry brush the highlights just on top, on the edges. And then maybe add a little bit of um, dabbing, a little bit of metallic paint to get some sheen. But I'm probably going to do this by the end. And then I'm going to concentrate furthermore on the skin. What I could do right now, since I think the paint on the skin is already uh, dry, is already put a wash. And while the wash uh, sets, I could be uh, working on um, on the on the stone. Uh, hey, Lemony, welcome. So yeah, uh, let me check if I didn't forget any spots on the flesh. Uh, you know what? I'm also gonna paint the the, the back of the. Um, of the skin he's wearing, he's wearing a, f a skin fur. I'm just gonna, you know, both colors. Maybe I'll create a, a slight variation afterwards to make sure it doesn't match perfectly his color, uh, skin color. But for now, I'm gonna just uniformize uh, the whole, uh, the whole skin. And I'll see later if I put another type of wash or another color on top. For now, it's going to be the same one. But this skin is going to be pretty dark at the back. So maybe I'll do something a bit more grayish. For now, it's going to be just the same color. So the colors on this guy and the elements are going to be pretty like some... There's going to be metal, but mo mostly it's going to be fur and... And leather, obviously. Uh, he's not a paladin, you know. He's a he's a big uh, barbarian. So it's mostly going to be leather, fur, and a bit of metal. Now for the metal, I'm not sure I'm going to go with iron. Maybe it's going to be bronze-like colors or stuff like that. He's mostly going to be, uh, uh, I think, a guy from from the wild, you know, the wilderness. He's looking very orcish uh, in nature with the two uh, fangs here. But, you know, if I use it on my setting and my uh, my game, there are no orcs in my uh, RPG. Because uh, we, we, we play uh, uh, based on Norse uh, myths. So, if I ever use him, he's probably going to be uh, some kind of a uh, fey or uh, a Jotun or a giant or something like that. It's not going to be an orc. That's why I didn't bother doing a, a green skin either. More going for a, th a tanned uh, looking uh, skin. Ah, bah, bienvenue, Limoni, du coup. Je savais pas que t'étais français. Um, there you go. So, what do you guys think about doing the wash? Do we do the wash on the skin and then the, the rock? Yeah, we're gonna try to do this, right? Oh, I forgot the small spot there. Doop. And there you go. It's not ticklish. He's not ticklish. Uh, I think we're good. Yeah, I forgot a few spots. So I definitely got to check. Because I don't want some white to remain that will look really weird. In some spots. But I think now we're good. So many muscles. It's easy to 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 forget about some some spots, you know. Et du coup, Limoni, euh, toi qui es français, bah qu'est-ce que tu fais en ce moment? Qu'est-ce que tu peins? Peut-être que tu fais des décors. Ah, cet accent, ouais. Je sais pas si j'ai un accent anglais, mais... J'ai relativement peu d'accent. On va dire. Peu l'accent français, en tout cas. 
Okay, so you know what? Let's start a uh, wash. I'm just gonna let like a few seconds for the paint to 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 set, for the paint of the skin to set, and then I'm gonna put a a wash on top of all of this, a dark wash. So what I think um, of doing is putting up two washes for the skin. Uh, I've got a very dark, uh, dark tone, and I've got a soft tone. I've got all these army painter tones, but uh, some come out better than others. So I definitely want s some contrast. So I might use some dark tone. But then again, it could be a bit too strong. So I could use definitely a flash wash, but I think I'll end up with this. And there are a strong tone and a soft tone. The soft tone is going to be pretty much useless, I think. But I could go with a strong tone. Let's see how it goes. Uh, T'es nouveau sur la chaîne ou tu suis la chaîne ou, ou pas en fait T'es abonné ou juste à trouver le, le, le fil en te baladant oh, Let's try. Um, so yeah guys, I'll speak English but there's a French uh, YouTuber as well so I might speak French with him a little bit also. So let's try this dark tone on some place that doesn't really impact. Let me see. I don't see much. Could work though. Yeah. You know, why not? Let's see on the arm. on the elbow yeah that should work too. that should be better than black I think black black would be a bit too too strong hey green tree are you gonna gonna away Okay, so let's use this dark tone. I think I'll, I'll do great. Now I'm just painting miniature for the, for fun. Uh, obviously, guys, I'm not an expert painter. can give you a few advices but I'm really not uh, experimented I've got a good understanding of how to use uh, paint and doing contrast because I was saying to to Limoni or maybe I didn't but I was uh, going to uh, I'm used to illustration and you know drawing and some somewhat using color also, so I've got a fair understanding on how shadows work and and different colors work together, but I'm not a, an expert miniature painting at all. But, you know, I'm still having fun painting these, getting them ready for tabletop. Um... Dans Limoni, une table de pour faire ma mini sur YouTube. Ah oui. Ah oui. Ah bah, bah tant mieux, écoute. Hein. Donc toi, t'es pas du tout dans le... le jeu de plateau, le jeu de rôle à la base. Donc cette miniature, elle est cool, mais bon, c'est pas moi qui l'ai faite. Hein. Je fais que la peindre. Euh... 
mais euh, je la peins pour euh, tout ce qui est jeu de plateau. Euh, C'est un jeu fantastique euh, avec des dés, un jeu de rôle quoi. Et, euh, Et parce qu'on peut les acheter peintes, mais c'est très cher. C'est plus rigolo de les peindre soi-même. Et puis ça fait un bon support visuel sur la table. Quand les joueurs visent des aventures. Donc voilà. Hey Dr. Erring. Welcome. Welcome on the live. So I'm painting up this huge barbarian here. Kind of orcish barbarian, but I'm not painting him like... Oh, shit, sorry. Sorry about the shake. My setup is a bit... approximative. I definitely need to get a better setup. That's why pretty soon I'm probably gonna ma end up um, setting up a patron. We'll see about that when we get to uh, 10,000 subscribers. For now. I'll do without. But I definitely have to change some some... Um, but, um, shit, uh, some, uh, how do you call that? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm at a loss for words. Um, some, some supplies, some stuff I'm using to, uh, to film, to get footage for the episodes. Et la forme de la statue euh, La statue en, en elle-même, ouais, c'est... Euh, alors, il y en a plein de sortes. Hein. Maintenant, euh, par exemple, il euh, y a l'imprimante 3D qui permet de faire ce genre de choses. Mais ça, c'est une figurine plutôt à l'ancienne. Euh, elle est en métal. Ça existe aussi en plastique ou en résine, mais globalement, ce que c'est fait, c'est de la sculpture, en fait. Sculpture euh, de miniature. Donc, en fait, la, la personne qui, qui crée le... La statue euh, la sculpte dans de la, de la, une sorte de pâte à modeler très précise en fait, avec parfois une base en, une base en métal à l'intérieur pour que ça tienne. Et ensuite elle fait euh, des moules, c'est-à-dire qu'elle coule en gros sa, sa miniature, euh, son prototype si tu veux, dans un moule. Et, euh, et ensuite bah, c'est un moule en, comment dire, en, en résine ou en ou en silicone, ou ça, ça dépend, il y a plein de matériaux différents. Et ensuite, ça lui permet du coup de faire plein de versions en coulant à l'intérieur du moule bah, euh, différents types de résine, de plastique, ou comme celle-ci du métal, puisque celle-là est en métal. Voilà, et après, il bah, y a des passionnés un peu dingos comme moi qui achètent euh, des miniatures quoi, pour, euh, pour leur jeu. C'est euh, des jouets, euh, voilà, enfin c'est pas vraiment du jouet, hein, mais euh, c'est un peu fragile quand même. Je ne mettrais pas ça dans, le, dans les mains d'un enfant, par exemple, déjà parce que bah, c'est plutôt cher. Et euh, puis c'est plein de petits bouts. Mais c'est vraiment fait pour bah, les jeux de plateau, quoi. Les jeux d'aventure, jeux euh, type jeu de rôle, sur des plateaux. Ou jeux de guerre. Mais ceux-là sont plutôt faits, pour, pas pour des armées, mais pour des, pour des jeux de, de plateau du type Donjons et Dragons, tout ça, quoi. Donc, euh, ça sert de support visuel après. Le personnage sur la table qui te montre où il est placé par rapport aux autres joueurs, avec dans un décor, et du coup, bah, tu sais exactement comment te déplacer vis-à-vis -vis de lui. Puis bon, on va pas se leurrer, c'est aussi la collectionnite, quoi. Donc c'est aussi euh, bah, collectionner des pièces comme ça, prendre le temps de les peindre euh, pour être content du résultat. Il y a un côté euh, méditatif aussi euh, quand tu le fais, quoi. Euh, purée la vache, mais on a vraiment tout le monde, hein. on a un espagnol aussi. So, uh, hey, Arte Manuel, uh, me encanta tu trabajo y que es muy concienzudo uh, y detallista. Uh, gracias, uh, compadre. Uh, me puedo hablar un poco de español, pero 
no, hace años que no he hablado español, uh, mucho español, así que uh, um, disculpe para el español uh, aproximado. So, we're about to speak English, French and Spanish on the live. Not sure I can handle this, but I'm going to stop with the wash because I'm actually putting way too much wash. And uh, this guy's get getting pretty dark skinned. <laughs> way too much dark skin. So, you know what? I'm actually going to concentrate on the skin because it's far more fun than doing uh, the rock. So, I'll do the rock later. I'm going to concentrate on doing the skin because uh, it looks more fun to me. I don't know what you guys think, but pretty sure you'll be the same. Um, non, je développe pas un jeu, euh, bah un peu en fait. Hein. Je suis maître du jeu euh, d'un groupe de joueurs, mais euh, j'utilise des systèmes qui existent déjà. Donc après, j'aménage un petit peu les règles à des moments, mais euh, je crée des nouvelles mécaniques de temps en temps quand il faut pour, pour, pour les besoins de de l'histoire qu'on joue, de l'aventure qu'on joue, mais après j'utilise un système qui existe déjà, pour le coup. C'est pas Donjons et Dragons, c'est un système plus simple, parce que Donjons et Dragons c'est très chouette, mais euh, c'est assez complexe. Donc euh, c'est pas le système le plus friendly euh, quand tu joues avec euh, des néophytes, quoi. Donc, euh, puis même à, à, bon, bah, à organiser, à gérer les parties, c'est beaucoup plus... C'est chouette, mais c'est beaucoup plus lent, Donjons et Dragons. Sauf si tu as vraiment des joueurs expérimentés, ou même que toi-même, euh, en tant que maître du jeu, tu es très expérimenté dans Donjons et Dragons. Là, tu avances peut-être vite, ou moins lentement, on va dire, mais c'est pas le système qui est le plus euh, adapté. Donc, moi, j'utilise des jeux qui existent déjà, des systèmes de jeu euh, pas trop compliqués, quoi. Uh, gracias, uh, Arte Manuel. So I've actually got, if I, if I speak English, do everyone understand me? Like, even uh, you, Lin Money, and you, Art Emmanuel? Because I can definitely speak a uh, bit of French and Spanish, but I don't want to, you know, I don't want all the other uh, viewers to, to feel like they're, uh, uh, they can't understand what is said. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, come again with uh, the first color I used before and go on top of what I just did because uh, because obviously the the dark toned uh, toned down uh, the um, the whole highlights so what I'm gonna do is use the color and very washed down and I'm just gonna pass on top to get some highlights again. I'm trying not to do a shitty job, which is not always. I should wait just a, a few seconds just to make sure the wash is completely uh, set, you know. But I'm pretty sure I should change brushes and buy new brushes. This one's getting pretty, pretty bad. Uh, <laughs> merci, Limoni. C'est gentil. Euh, bah là, c'est l'occasion qui fait le larron aussi. Hein. Si j'avais pas euh, la plupart de ma ma base de d'abonnés est américaine en fait. Parce que bon, c'est un, un hobby qui est très développé euh, aux états unis notamment. Euh, et puis que l'anglais est encore la langue un peu euh, internationale. Quoi. Mais bon, euh, je parle aussi espagnol et français comme je suis français. Donc euh, bah, si j'ai des personnes qui parlent plusieurs langues et qui, qui s'adressent à moi dans plusieurs langues, je vais quand même faire l'effort d'essayer de, de, de m'adresser à eux dans leur langue, c'est plus sympa. Mais... Euh, Bien sûr que je m'attirerai plus d'abonnés, mais tu peux t'abonner déjà. N'hésite hein. pas à le faire. N'hésite pas à partager ma chaîne. Euh, ça sera avec plaisir. Donc, euh, bien sûr que je, je mérite plus d'abonnés. On mérite tous plus d'abonnés. Oups. Mais ça va venir. Ça va venir les abonnés. Déjà, j'ai pas mal d'abonnés. Je serai bientôt à 10 000. Alors, je sais pas. Toi, tu me disais que tu avais une chaîne. Je sais pas où, où tu en es dans ton, 
Je suis en train de peindre ma miniature, j'ai racheté un oeil sur ce que tu fais du coup après. Mais euh... Donc toi tu fais quoi du coup tu m'avais dit... Euh, ouais tu faisais une miniature, maintenant tu m'as pas dit ce que tu fais du coup sur Youtube toi. C'est quoi le... Le thème de ta chaîne Ça... So... Uh, yo solo me fijo mucho en lo que haces y aprendo mucho gracias de nada well, de nada amigo de nada si mis vídeos uh, te ayudes para para hacer uh, pintura o creación para el juego pues uh, yo me hace esos uh, vídeos para para que uh, para ayudar así que si te ayudas es es muy bien. Es mi objetivo. Porque, uh, you know, hacer uh, vídeos, uh, pues que uh, no tengo mucho, mucho tiempo, porque uh, trabajo también. Y, uh, y uh, hacer vídeos uh, y editar uh, la, las vídeos es que um, um, de mi tiempo es que es muy uh, uh, cómo se dice well it takes it takes a lot of time to 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 edit videos so I'm glad if you guys find them useful you know if it gives you ideas or stuff like that because it obviously takes a bit of time you know to edit and make those videos so if you like them that's good So here I'm coming back again. So I changed, uh, I changed my uh, my brush, and this brush is even worse than the other ones. <laughs> so I'm gonna change again. <laughs> my God, I don't have a single brush that works properly. It's amazing. I really have to buy new brushes. Um. Ah. Uh. Ah, quinze. Ah mais t'es un petit jeune, tu viens de commencer ta chaîne, elle parle de quoi C'est quoi ton créneau Ah oui tu m'as dit le dessin, bah, c'est génial j'irai jeter un oeil un peu sur ce que tu fais du coup C'est super moi j'aime beaucoup dessiner aussi Quand j'ai le temps, <rire> je dessine encore un petit peu quand j'ai le temps Mais euh, ouais, entre la miniature, euh, le travail... Hein. Euh, la vie sociale, euh, je t'avoue que le dessin, en ce moment, il n'y a plus trop le temps. Donc franchement, tu as 12 ans, profite un max si tu aimes le dessin et dessine un max. Parce que euh, peut-être ça deviendra ton boulot, tant mieux. Euh, tu pourras peut-être faire des études de dessin ou autre chose qui t'intéresse dans le milieu de la création. Mais bon, profites-en vraiment parce que tu as encore un petit peu le temps, même si bon, tu as 12 ans, donc tu dois être au collège, donc tu dois avoir des journées quand même assez chargées, je pense. Pas mal de travail à faire. Mais bon, tu as quand même du temps encore, donc... Euh, Profites en un max pour dessiner quoi. C'est important. C'est important. Oh, moi quand j'avais 12 ans je dessinais tout le temps. Je dessine beaucoup moins maintenant en comparaison, mais. Je passais ma vie à dessiner moi toujours. Peut-être un peu trop. Et du coup, je dessinais aussi quand je ne devais pas dessiner en cours, mais c'est pas bien, hein, faut pas. Hein. Mais, euh... mais je comprends. <rire> um... Hi Alexander Vladimirovich, welcome. So, am I right or do we have like uh, American, Spanish, French, and Russians on the live? Is that correct? Like, am I hallucinating or? Is that actual? I shouldn't be too surprised because um, the time it is now in the States got to be pretty, pretty late. So obviously there are some of you guys that should be American, but there's definitely going to be more Europeans and more uh, maybe Russians or Asian um, folks here because of the, the, the time. 
Ah, les journées qui finissent à 17h. Bah oui, au collège, vous êtes bien, bien occupé. J'en sais quelque chose. Euh, mais bon. Là, c'est le week-end. Puis lundi, c'est férié, c'est trop bien. Faut en profiter. Profite sans pour faire du dessin, du coup. Enfin, c'est probablement ce que tu fais déjà, puisque tu uploads des vidéos. Mais... J'irai faire un petit tour sur ta chaîne pour regarder ce que tu fais. Je suis curieux maintenant. Ça marche, bonne continuation Limoni. Salut. So I wonder why, but the wash I put on one of the tights doesn't seem to set much. Still on pretty well. Um il faut vraiment que j'achète des nouveaux euh, des nouveaux pinceaux, ouais. c'est pas c'est pas possible. J'en ai pas un seul euh, qui est en état en fait. Il n'y en a pas un seul qui a une pointe à peu près précise. C'est horrible. Euh, tu, 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 tu. Yeah. As I was saying, I don't have like a single brush that has a, a sharp uh, end. So I definitely need to, to, to buy new ones. Because I can't get a, a precise job. And this one's a bit better. I don't like army painter paint. I hate it actually. It's got like no coverage at all. I think I'm gonna buy only Vallejo. They're a bit more expensive, but God, at least they cover. Look at that. Doesn't even work. Doesn't cover at all. That's a good damn shame. So what are you guys doing, Alexander uh, Vladimirovich? Still there? What are you guys up to? Because I'm painting this dude right there. What are you guys up to? Sorry, I've been speaking French with... Uh, a kid that was there that just you know stumbled across the the life and was pretty interested with what was going on but I don't forget about you guys right Is everyone gone? No. Five of you. I mean, I know I'm not that interesting, but I could at least say bye. Okay. So, I'm um, still missing the muscles here. A little bit, uh, just a little bit of muscle edge. There you go. This guy's got thick muscles. Okay. Uh, you, I decided to paint a house, came to YouTube, and here you are painting something. 
Um, to paint a house, like you mean, um, my miniature house or your actual house? Yeah, I'm painting something. Obviously, having fun doing it too. It's been a few weeks uh, since I had painted last time I painted, so I'm actually having fun. Even if I definitely should buy new brushes. Because I'm having a hard time with these ones. But I'll buy new ones. No biggie. No issue, no biggie. Okay. Uh, miniature, yeah, okay. You tried to make a thatch roof house like I did last week. Uh, what do you mean tried and didn't work out? I want to make new ones. I wanted to make, uh, I just made one of them like that. And I, it was so easy. I wanted to make new ones, but I never uh, took the time to do it. Because I already had a few other roofs. Oh, damn. Well, that sucks. Sorry about that, man. What did you use? What kind of rub did you use? I used uh, natural stuff, you know, um, natural kind of twine. Oh, sorry about that. I don't know if it works as well if you take something like uh, synthetic. Because uh, obviously I haven't tried. I've tried with my type of rope. So um, sorry if your type of work, rope uh, you used didn't work. Uh, that's a bummer. Uh, really, you should find something natural, you know, a uh, natural type of rope, if you can. Uh, it'll obviously uh, look better and work better, maybe. But I definitely have to do uh, new ones because uh, it's so fast to do. I would suggest uh, using a, a vacuum cleaner uh, when you trim all of them, you know, uh, with the, um, uh, both the scissors and the, the shaver, because obviously it'll go almost everywhere. And uh, you already finished your dracker. Wait, was it you who sent me a pic of the dracker you did that was uh, halfway finished? Because uh, I got a few subscribers who said afterwards. Uh, they wanted to do the the you know the ship and ask me for 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 help or stuff like that, and uh, I had some a few pictures that were sent. Did did you do it? Uh, so my video inspired me to do the same thing, but you didn't understand one thing about this. One thing about using wash after painting it uh, oh uh, using wash yeah uh, don't uh, use a dark wash before painting it with acrylics because if you do uh, it'll wreck the um, uh, the cardboard and the, the if, if you do a wash before doing the paints like the acrylic you can seal it also with Mod Podge or you know PVA glue something like that but you definitely have to seal it either with um, acrylic paints or with something that you know seals uh, the piece before doing a wash. If you do a wash before, it'll just you know soak up the cardboard and uh, soak up the, the 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 coffee stirs, and they will um, thicken and the rest of the glue won't hold. So don't do uh, don't do that. 
Um, uh, well, my email is really easy. Uh, it's Landvater. So you know how to write my name. I know it's weird, but Landvater uh, at uh, Gmail. So G M A I L uh, dot com. You can send me your uh, your questions or your uh, images. I would be happy to see your ship. You know. So now what I'm going to do, I think, is add an even lighter color on the skin. You know, because yellow. It's supposed to remove paint. Uh, wash is this thing using? No, 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 wash, no. Wash doesn't remove paint. Um, a wash, uh, when you do a miniature painting uh, and uh, and uh, in boats and stuff like that, uh, a wash is when you take uh, paint and you put a lot of water in it. Or you can put also uh, soap if you don't have a lot of money on your hands or you're doing a big piece, uh, you take some soap, a little bit of soap, a few drops of soap, a lot of water and a little bit of paint and uh, you apply all of this uh, mix onto your um, miniature or your, your, your terrain or your, um, your ship and it goes into the recesses. So it goes into the, um, the, the the holes and the um, and the cracks and the details. Uh, the paint only goes inside of the holes. So it puts usually it puts dark uh, dark color inside uh, the, the the recesses. So you get sh better shadows because of the the, the dark ink uh, that is very fluid because of water. It goes into the cracks, into the recesses, and it makes uh, the rest of the vol volumes uh, pop out. Uh, so, if you're doing a big piece like the ship, you can take ordinary paint and you mix it with a lot of water and a, so a few drops of uh, dishwasher uh, liquid, you know, a few drops of, of soap, dish, dish soap, and you apply it. But only apply it if you've done uh, already a base coat of acrylic or if you have uh, already varnished uh, the piece. Did you, uh, did you understand what I mean or, or, or what? If you didn't, just send me a mail and I'll, I'll um, explain it uh, more uh, better. I'll try at least. But I'm sure you can also find, if you're Russian, I'm sure you can also find some, some, some videos of, of Russian dudes explaining how to do washes. Uh, but uh, yeah, a wash is, um, is a very diluted paint to get shadows into recesses. Okay? It's not to remove paint. It's to add shadow into uh, cracks and, and recesses. So now I'm going to go even lighter and I'm going to try with this color that is yellow. And probably I'm going to do a wash afterwards. I could give you an example of the wash um, on something else if you want. Because I've got some washes here but I already used it um before so i'm probably not going to put another wash on the character oh uh you know what i'll put a wash on the character afterwards a reddish wash a flesh wash so maybe you'll see uh what it is but you can see it normally on the the, the video of the 
of the, the ship. I'm slow, my god. I'm sorry about that. If some of you guys are used to painting miniature, you guys must be like super annoyed because I'm super slow, but However, you know it works if you see here the the leg. Uh, it actually pops out really well with the highlights. Oh. <clears throat> so I don't know how much time we've spent on the live uh, on the live stream. I'm probably not gonna make a very long live stream. I'm probably gonna stop in in not so long because obviously we're gonna have something, grab something to he eat here. In Dumia. In Dumia. Okay, so in half an hour or something like that, we'll get grab something to he eat. So I'm gonna end the live in half an hour, more or less. Yeah, please take a picture of your ship, Alexander. So you can send it at my address. You you got you know, you got you understood the address, right? It's not very complicated. Pretty straightforward. to change brushes I hate it when the tools work against you so I'm trying to glaze a little bit Stop me if I'm incorrect, but I think glazing is like using very diluted paints in several layers on top of each other, right? That's what glazing is about, right? So I'm using a more yellowish color for the highlights. It, you know, it should look all right. Uh, I don't have the right uh, the right brushes, but. This miniature might look, you know, might just look alright at the end. It won't be an award winning miniature, of course, but. It should be tabletop ready, definitely, but it should also look pretty nice with nice contrast. In any case, when you're painting a miniature, you can always come back later. You, you definitely know, you have to know when to stop, but. If you're applying thin, uh, layers of paints it will take time but you will end up getting something nice if you have a basic understanding of contrasts and colors even if you it doesn't look good at first it will end up looking pretty nice you just have to spend more time but on a piece like this I'm I'm ready to spend a little time for it to look good because it's big you know it's got some importance when you put it on the table so you know it, it will be worth it 
if I spend all the time for to make it extra extra good, you know. Okay, so that's that was my problem. I didn't dilute it enough. I really have to do some glazing. It looks way better when I dilute it because I can go over it, put a little bit of paint, then let it dry. It dries in a few seconds, and then come again with it to add a little more paint and get something even lighter. You have to pass multiple times, but you can really get a good shading, something that really looks um, good, you know. It really makes a difference. Uh, non, bah non. Enfin, euh, si, j'ai plein de pinceaux, mais ils sont tous euh, abîmés, en fait. Il faut que j'en achète. J'avais quelques pinceaux un peu abîmés, et j'aimais bien peindre avec, parce qu'ils étaient pas trop abîmés, ils étaient pointus, mais euh, pliés, ce qui était pratique pour la peinture. Mais, euh... mais bon, là, ils sont juste usés, en fait. Donc, euh, la pointe est plus précise, et c'est de la merde. Donc, euh... Mais bon, c'est pas, pas la ruine, hein. je, vais en, je vais en acheter des nouveaux. So doing the knuckles here. I don't know if you guys can see the volume well because my setup for the lights isn't isn't great. Painting miniature is really relaxing, you know. Ah ok super parce que je vois pas très bien ce qu'il y a à l'écran et en fait c'est assez sombre ici d'habitude je mets la lumière LED de la lampe et du coup je vois très bien mais je peux pas la mettre donc euh... là je vais euh... quand j'aurai terminé le live je pense que je vais remettre la lumière de la lampe et tant mieux si vous voyez c'est Mieux. <laughs> okay, so this guy ended up like super tanned. Maybe even a little too much. So I'm probably gonna use a, a red reddish wash on top just to mitigate a little bit the yellow I added because the skin looks pretty yellow now it's a bit um, it's a bit of a rough job I did on the muscles there so I'm gonna try to to keep on working with um, with glazes and get something a bit more A bit less bulky on some spots. Yeah. Ça va? Oui, Qu'est-ce qu'il y a? Euh, J'ai tué des trucs chelous. Et... Et là, j'ai encore des. Un truc chelou? Oh merde! Ça 
T'es sûr que c'en est Oh, ça s'accroche. Hello Jody, uh, salut Limoni. Uh, you guys are back, but I'm actually gonna end the stream pretty soon. So um, it's nearly hello goodbye, I guess. But thanks for popping out anyway. Oui, donc je disais à Limoni, en fait, je vais bientôt euh, arrêter le live, en fait, parce qu'on va manger. Donc, euh, bah, merci d'être revenu. Si jamais euh, mes vidéos te plaisent, tu peux toujours t'abonner. Euh, je ferai peut-être des lives, puis tu pourras regarder mes autres vidéos si tu veux. Euh, mais, 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 euh, mais on va bientôt aller manger. Il est quelle heure euh, Ouais. Donc, euh, ouais, d'ici 10 minutes, euh, le live est fini. So, in about 10 minutes, I'll end up with the live. So now an even brighter color, I guess. I always forget the the muscles below, but it shouldn't. Bon, attends, je vais, faire, je vais terminer le live et... et bah, attends, j'arrive. Ok, so guys, I'm gonna leave you because we're gonna start... Um, the meal uh, this was fun maybe I'll come back later painting these guy this guy I'm sure about this not sure about this because I got uh, plans for the afternoon in any case it was nice painting a little bit uh, see you soon on the channel either on live or on the videos um, and um, you guys take care have a nice weekend goodbye <laughs>